Hey, Aggie family. We all missed you so much and we can't wait to see you. We know that the last few months have been so challenging as we're trying to make sense of everything going on around us. Our faculty and staff have been working hard and diligently to make sure this school is a safe and both effective and successful environment to be in. We know this year will be challenging, but as Aggies, we are ready to face those challenges with courage and pride. Most importantly, we need to remember that the challenges ahead require a team effort. Whether you're returning to the hallways or from online, you're not in this alone. We can't wait to see your smiling faces. We're in this together, Aggie Pride. Students and teachers, good morning and welcome back to Sylacauga High School for our 2020 school year. For those of you who do not know me, I'm Brooke Gordon and I'm your 2020-2021 Student Council President. I am your student body representative and basically the person in charge of representing you well and making sure all of your thoughts and wishes are spoken and understood. I am so excited to be back here and to find new ways to serve the student body in school as we enter this new, very different year. Even with all the craziness going on, I know that I'm always a call, text, direct message, or email away. My job is to represent all of you, and the only way I can do that fully and amazingly is if I know what's running through your heads. I know things are not like they usually would be for any of us, especially with our new class schedule, the new days, and methods of learning, but I'm ready to take this year head on, standing by your sides at all times. Today and throughout this year, it is imperative that we continue to look ahead and keep a positive mindset. When I was speaking to one of my teachers and actually one of my mentors the other day, I was reminded that a fierce, determined, and optimistic spirit through times like these where we want to be negative and feel surrounded by so much negativity is what causes growth. To look something disappointing or displeasing in the eyes and refuse to be down in spirit is what keeps us going and growing, not only in times like these, but in life. So please, feel encouraged today and look ahead at the year with a mindset of growth. I am ready and willing to do anything and everything I can to ensure that there is and will continue to be something our student body can look forward to this year. Be safe, be smart, wear your masks, and go Aggies! Good afternoon Aggies, I'm Chad Murphy and I serve as the principal of Silicaga High School. Today I'm going to share some information with you about the start of the school year. Silicaga High School will follow a seven period bell schedule during the first nine weeks. Blended and traditional students will be expected to log in to Google Classroom each day and complete assignments during their class time if they are not attending in person. Students who chose blended learning or in-person learning have been split into two groups. The first group, Group A, last name A through L, will receive new instruction on Monday and Tuesday, either in person at school or through Google Classroom. On Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, they will work on assignments that support that new learning. Each day, a student needs to log into Google Classroom and complete the assignments that are there. This will be their attendance for the day. Group B will attend school and receive new instruction on Thursday and Friday. And then on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, they will have assignments that support that new learning. Each day there will be assignments for students to complete and they need to complete those in order to count as their attendance. On Wednesdays, teachers will be available to talk with students about misconceptions in learning or other issues they are having so that they can be successful. Welcome back Aggie family. My name is Mr. Elif. I'm the director of Aggie News Network and I wanted to give you a couple more tips of some things that you need to know about the first few days of school. Breakfast for students begins at 7.30 a.m. Students should arrive in enough time to ensure that they arrive to first block by 7.50 a.m. Students should be dropped off on Norton Avenue, not the museum parking lot. This area is designated for employee and administrative parking only. 
There will only be three entry points upon entering the school. The glass doors coming from the student parking lot, the cafeteria for students eating breakfast, and the band room for band students only. We will have four holding areas once you arrive each morning. As we have already stated, the cafeteria will be reserved for students who eat breakfast, and the band room will be reserved for band students only. All other students in 9th and 10th grade will report to the PE gym. All other 11th and 12th grade students will report to the competition gym. Dismissal from designated areas will be staggered to ensure social distancing guidelines. Masks are required at all times during hallway travel. When traveling to and from classes, students should stay on the right side of the hallway. But when passing other students who are at their lockers, it is permissible to move to the center of the hallway in order to ensure social distancing. Restrooms will be closed during class changes. All classrooms have been modified to adhere to social distancing guidelines. All students will have an assigned seat in each class. When students are seated in their desks, it is permissible to remove their masks if students are spaced at least six feet apart. If students are moving in the classroom for any reason, they should utilize their masks. All water fountains have been closed off, but students are allowed to have a clear pre-packaged water bottle in class. If a student needs to leave class for any reason, only one student at a time is permitted to leave. Students will have a designated restroom to use that is in close proximity to their classroom. At the end of each class period, students will be asked to clean and sanitize their desks before leaving the room. These supplies will be made available. Hello, I'm Ms. McTeer, the senior class sponsor here at Sakaga High School. We have one more video for you to help guide you through the first day of school. In this video, we will cover Aggie Hour and the lunch procedures. This year, we are introducing a period known as Aggie Hour. This period will include lunch waves, advisory classes, club meetings, and D-Hall. During Aggie Hour, students will have access to their cell phones and may use one earbud. There will be designated areas throughout the school for students to eat lunch. These areas include the cafeteria, the upstairs concourse near Mr. Tidwell's room, and the lower concourse near the media center. The outside patio area will be available during lunch for seniors only. First wave will take place from 11.22 till 11.52 a.m. Juniors and seniors will report directly to lunch while freshmen and sophomores report directly to their advisory. When the bell rings at 11.52, juniors and seniors will report to their advisory. Second wave lunch will be from 12.11 till 12.41 p.m. for freshmen and sophomores, and they will report to one of the designated dining areas. All students should remember that it is a privilege and not a right to have this lunch freedom. Students who are picking up lunch from the cafeteria will no longer use a keypad, but will be provided with a barcode which will be scanned upon checking out in the lunchroom. Students will need to have a digital or hard copy of their lunch code. Students, once you arrive to your designated area, please do not attempt to move or adjust tables and chairs. They have been spaced in an effort to follow social distancing guidelines. Also, once you have chosen your designated area, you must remain in that area until the end of the lunch wave. If you are caught moving from area to area, you will be subject to disciplinary action. Students will also be asked to help maintain a clean and sanitary environment. We hope that this video helped answer some of your questions that you may have had regarding the first few days of school. Also, be sure to follow us on social media at Aggie News Network. Let's have a great year and go Aggies!